Hello and welcome to Quiz Class. My name's Ellis and I'll be your host for today's general knowledge quiz. There are a hundred questions in this quiz, so do the best you can. And at the end of the quiz, when the quiz is over, you can write in the comments your score. You're scored between naught and a hundred and you receive a different award based on how many points you received. Let us know how you rank in the comments. Today's lineup, we've got Around the World, a visual quiz, we've got Weird, Wacky and Wonderful, History, Architecture, Technology and Science, and Human Behaviour. Those are the topics you're going to be answering questions about today. And we're going to start with a visual quiz. It'll make sense as we go along. Question 1. Which of the buildings pictured below is the Burj Khalifa? You've got an A and a B there, two options. Which one is the Burj Khalifa? The answer is A. Well done if you got that one right. Question two. What is the name of this building? Is it the Budapest Opera House, the Burj Al Arab, or the Turning Torso? The answer is the Burj Al Arab. Three. Which of these flags represents Sweden? Is it A? B or C? That iconic blue and yellow, it's A. Question four. Which North American city is shown below? Is that Manhattan in New York? Is it downtown Chicago or is it Detroit? That is a little view of downtown Chicago. Well done if you got that one right. Question five. Which Eiffel Tower is the original one? Is it the one pictured in A or in B? The answer is B. You can see the tops of the roofs of the buildings in Paris there. Six, where is the Hawa Mahal located? Where is the Hawa Mahal located? Is it in Jaipur, Pushka, or Gurugram? The answer is Jaipur. Well done if you got that one right. We're on to question seven. What monument is pictured below? Is that the Roman honor statue? Is it the Martyrs Monument or Giuseppe Garibaldi Monument? The answer is the Giuseppe Garibaldi Monument. Eight. Where is the Scott Monument located? Berlin, Edinburgh or Glasgow? The answer is Edinburgh. Question nine. What is the name of this monument, which is one of Indonesia's greatest complexes of Hindu temple ruins? Kandi Penataran, Sut Panama, or Treat Panorama? The answer is Kandi Penataran. Question 10. On which island is Cook's Bay Moria located? Fiji, Hawaii, or Tahiti? The answer is Fiji. Question 11. Which flag represents Qatar? Is it A or B? How well do you know your flags? The answer is B. Well done if you got that one. We're moving on to question 12. What is the name of this beautiful coastal metropolis in the United States of America? Is it Miami, Santa Barbara, or Virginia Beach? If you've answered the question, you can just imagine yourself there for a couple of minutes if you need to. The answer is Miami. 13. Where is the capital with the iconic Table Mountain located? Australia, Hawaii, or South Africa? So you got a picture of the capital there. Where is this capital? The answer is South Africa. Question 14. 
Which of these flags represents Malaysia? A, B or C? Three options this time. Can you identify the flag of Malaysia? The answer is B. And question 15. What is shown in the visual below? Is that internal combustion, nuclear reactor, or coal being burnt for electricity? Looks like a stomach cramp to me, but I don't think that's the answer. The correct answer is internal combustion. Sort of the same thing as a stomach cramp, I guess. Those are the answers on the visual quiz. We're now moving on to the weird, wacky, and wonderful. Question 16. How many miles does the Earth travel around the Sun in a day? 100,000, 500,000, or 1.5 million? And you can decide whether that's a weird, wacky, or wonderful question. The answer is 1.5 million. 17. How many oceans are there on Earth? Are there 5, 7, or 11? There are five oceans on Earth. Question 18. What's a nerdle? Is it a small pellet of plastic, a single spaghetti that fills an entire bowl, or a type of fish? A nerdle is a small pellet of plastic. 19. What two businessmen came up with M&Ms? Is it Michael Brown and Manus Davis, Forrest Mars and Bruce Murray, or John Smith and David Johnson? The answer is Forrest Mars and Bruce Murray. Question 20. When was the letter J added to the English alphabet? 1100s, 1300s, or 1500s? The answer is the 1500s. Question 21. What causes moonquakes? Volcanic activity, meteor impacts, tidal stresses between Earth and the moon. And the answer is tidal stresses between the Earth and the moon. Question 22. What is the longest possible continuous walking distance in the world? 7,000 miles, 14,000 miles, or 21,000 miles? The answer is 14,000 miles. Question 23. What animals, other than humans, have the ability to blush? Is it apes, butterflies, or none? The answer is none. Question 24. How long did a day last on Earth 600 million years ago? 21 hours, 24 hours, or 27 hours? The answer is 21 hours. Question 25. Does blood pressure drop when petting a dog? Yes, for the human and the dog. Yes, for the human. Or no, it is not correct, not factual. The answer to question 25 is yes, for the human and the dog. We are a quarter of the way through this quiz. 26. How much does all the electricity powering the internet weigh? About the same as an apricot, about the same as an average family car, or about the same as Table Mountain? The answer is about the same as an apricot. 27. If it were possible, how long would it take to fall from the North Pole down to Earth's core? 19 minutes, 7 hours, or 3 days and an hour? The answer is 19 minutes. 28. Since when have people practiced dentistry? 7000 BC? 2000 BC or 200 CE?
The answer is 7000 BC. 29. Where was the first ever documented feature film made in 1906? New York, Hollywood or Australia? The answer is Australia. Question 30. Which country eats the most macaroni and cheese in the world? America, Brazil or Canada? The answer is Canada. Question 31 is going to be the first question in the history round. Who gave the Axis of Evil speech in 2002? Margaret Thatcher, George W. Bush or Adre Duda? Apologies on the mispronunciation there. And the answer is George W. Bush. Question 32. Which year saw the launch of the Mars Odyssey space probe? 1969, 1984 or 2001? The answer is 2001. 33. What event led to the creation of the Department of Homeland Security in 2002? 9-11 terrorist attacks? The Winter Olympics preparation, or Congo President Loren Kabila's assassination. And it was the 9-11 terrorist attacks. 34. Which benefit concerts were held in 2005 to fight poverty? Live 8, Woodstock, or Coachella? The correct answer, Live 8. Question 35. In which year was the GI Bill signed by President Roosevelt, providing financial aid to World War II veterans? 1931, 1941 or 1961? The answer is 1941. Question 36. Which film was released in 1994? Shrek 2, Forrest Gump or The Aviator? The answer is Forrest Gump. Question 37. Who became the president of South Africa in 1994? F.W. de Klerk, Nelson Mandela, or Thabo Mbeki? The answer is Nelson Mandela. Question 38. In which year was the first factory built Ford Model T completed? 1898, 1908, or 1921? The answer is 1908. Question 39. On which of these did work start first? The Ford Model T or Mount Rushmore? The answer is A, Ford Model T. Question 40. Which ancient people controlled Mexico under Emperor Quetzalcoatl in the 10th century CE? I've butchered that name, but is the answer Aztecs, Quetecs, or Toltecs? Emperor Quetzalcoatl. The answer is Tolke, Toltecs. Sorry about that question, let's hope 41 is better. When was the UK's first speed limit for motorised vehicles established? 1861, 1903 or 1924? I think I said all of that right. The answer is 1861. Question 42. Which English kingdom was between the rivers Trent and Thames in the 7th and 9th centuries? Is it Anglia, Wessex or Mercia? The answer is Mercia. Question 43. Who served as France's first president of the Fifth Republic and its final president of the Fourth Republic? Here we go. 
Charles de Gaulle, Georges Pompidou, or Valérie Giscard d'Estaing? I'm going to say I nailed that, whether I did or not. The answer is Charles de Gaulle. 44. What was the response from the Spartans, according to legend, to Philip II of Macedon's threat of war? If I enter Laconia, I will raise Sparta. Is it if, Laconia, or who are you? What was the response? The response was, if. 45. In 1919, which airship became the first to cross the Atlantic? Graf Zeppelin, R-34, or F-86? The answer is R.34. We're moving on now to our questions about architecture. Starting with question 46. Which architectural style is defined by the incorporation of soaring buttresses, ribbed vaults and pointy archways? Gothic, Romantic or Neoclassic? The answer is Gothic. Question 47. Which of these buildings incorporates neoclassical architecture? Is it A or B? The answer is B. Question 48. Which of these buildings embraces the Bauhaus architectural style? You've got A and B again to choose from. I'd have guessed B and I'd be right. There we go, the answer is B. 49, who is the architect responsible for the Sydney Opera House's design? Anthony Gaudi, Frank Lloyd Wright, or John Utson? The answer is John Utson. Question 50, we've hit the halfway mark. What is the name of this beautiful garden complex located in the Indian state of Rajasthan? Bada Bagh, Gadisar Lake, or Salim Singh Ki Haveli? The answer is Bada Bagh. 51. Which well-known architect created Falling Water, a home perched above a waterfall? Frank Lloyd Wright, Jean Nouvel, or Rem Koolhaas? The answer is Frank Lloyd Wright. Question 52. Which of these landmarks are located in Asia? Is it A or B? Take a look at those pictures. Which do you think is in Asia? The answer is A. Question 53. Which landmark is located in China? Again, you've got A or B to choose from. The answer is B. 54. Which city is the location of the famous Taj Mahal? Agra, Lucknow or Surat? The answer is Agra. Question 55. As of 2024, which building is the tallest across the globe? Burj Khalifa, Shanghai Tower, or Warasan Merdeka Tower? The answer is Burj Khalifa. 56. Which early 20th century architectural movement is distinguished by its use of geometric shapes, clear lines, and limited ornamentation? Modernism or international style? Postmodernism or neoclassicism? The answer is modernism or international style. 57. Which Kiefhauser monument is the correct one? A or B? The correct image is A. Question 58. 
What is the name of this monument in Mexico City? Liberation Monument, Independence Monument, or Revolution Monument? Does that monument denote liberation, independence, or revolution? The answer is independence. We're on question 58. I hope you're keeping up with this quiz so far. We're coming towards the end of this section of the quiz. We're moving into a different topic. Two more questions on this one though, 59. Who is the architect of Spain's Guggenheim Museum? Is it Frank Jerry, Louis Sullivan, or Zahar Hadid? The answer is Frank Jerry. 60. Which architectural design is renowned for its use of expansive glass windows, open floor layouts, and integration with the natural world? Industrial architecture, classical architecture, or contemporary? The answer is contemporary. And now we're going to be moving on to some questions about science and technology. Question 61. What is the study of fossils called? Anthropology? Herpetology or paleontology? The answer is paleontology. 62. Who discovered the laws of motion? Galileo Galilei, Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? The answer is Isaac Newton. 63. What is the measurement unit for electric current? Ampere, ohm, or volt? The answer is ampere. 64. Which process results in the direct conversion of solid ice into water vapour? Diffusion, photosynthesis, or sublimation? The answer is sublimation. Question 65. Which unit in matter is the smallest? Atom, element, or molecule? The answer is atom. Question 66. Who is credited as the father of modern computer science? Alan Turing, Bill Gates, or Guido Van Rossum? The answer is Alan Turing. Question 67. What's the name of the process that plants undergo to release water vapour into the atmosphere? Diffusion, transpiration, or photosynthesis? The answer is transpiration. Question 68. The three rules of planetary motion were created by whom? Albert Einstein, Johannes Kepler, or Stephen Hawking? The answer is Johannes Kepler. Question 69. What is the force unit of measurement? Newton, torque, or power? The answer is Newton. Question 70. What is the name of the process that transforms light energy into electrical energy? Photovoltaics, photogrammetry, or photomicrography? The answer is photovoltaics. 71. What is the name of the SI unit of pressure? Millimeter of mercury, pascal, or pound per square inch? The answer is Pascal. 72. What is the electric resistance measuring unit? 
stream, om, or power. And you've got the symbols there that represent each of those units. The electric resistance measuring unit is an ohm. Well done if you got that one right. We're moving on to question 73. Who is credited with discovering hereditary rules and is regarded as the founder of modern genetics? Charles Darwin, Gregor Mendel, or Michael Faraday? The answer is Gregor Mendel. 74. What's the name of the scientific study of the ocean and its various aspects? Oceanography, marine biology, or marine environment economics? The answer is marine environment economics. Question 75. What is the scientific study of sound, its production, transmission, and reception called? Acoustics, recology, or soundcology? Or sound science? The answer is acoustics. We're now going to move on to some questions all about human behaviour. There's going to be 15 questions on this topic. Question 76 Which of the following is not one of the three major branches of psychology? Behavioural psychology, clinical psychology, or perceptive psychology? Behavioural, clinical, or perceptive? The answer is perceptive psychology. 77. What is the nature versus nurture debate about? Genetic factors versus environmental factors? How to raise a child properly? Or respect versus dominance or control? The answer is genetic factors versus environmental factors. 78. Which of these is a key component of the scientific method in psychology? Consultation? experimentation or theory formulation. The answer to question 78 is experimentation. 79 now, who is credited with founding psychoanalysis? Carl Rogers, Jean Piaget or Sigmund Freud? The correct answer is Sigmund Freud. Question 80. What is intrinsic motivation for doing something? Satisfaction or enjoyment? Rewards or incentives? Or recognition or rewards? The answer is satisfaction or enjoyment. 81. What factor does not influence conformity in a group setting? Possible competition, group size, or unanimity? The answer is possible competition. 82. In social cognitive theory, what does the term self-efficacy mean? An individual's belief in their own ability, an individual's belief in their peers, or an individual's belief in the authority? The answer is an individual's belief in their own ability. Question 83. What is explicit memory as opposed to implicit memory? Automatic retention of past experiences, conscious and intentional recall of facts, or secrets or events blocked out by trauma? And the answer is conscious and intentional recall of facts. 84. On average, about how many days does it take to make something a daily habit? 21, 66, or 90 days. The answer is 66 days. Question 85. What do studies reveal about people who respond to frivolous questions with sarcasm out of habit? They are depressed, they suffer from social anxiety, or they have healthy minds. It may mean that they have healthy minds. 86. How much does the average individual's mind wander? About 14%, about 30%, or about 51%? 14, 30, or 51? The answer is about 30%. 
Question 87. What are individuals with a deep sense of guilt better at? Identifying the emotions and concerns of others, creating emotions and concerns for others, or ignoring the emotions and concerns of others? The answer is identifying the emotions and concerns of others. 88. What is the phenomenon called when we can understand a misspelled sentence as long as the last and first letters of words are in the correct places? Transposition, trivium or provision? The answer is transposition. 89. What percentage of the population has narcissistic personality disorder? About 0.2%, about 3.1% or about 6%. The answer is about 6%. Question 90. How have our brains changed since we were hunter-gatherers? Increased 10% in size, increased 0.2% in size, or decreased 10% in size? The answer is decreased 10% in size. Don't I know it. And now we're going to finish with a mystery round of 10 questions to round off this quiz. Question 91, who was the recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize in 1984? Desmond Tutu, F.W. de Klerk, or Lech Walesa? The answer is Desmond Tutu. 92, what was the name of Harry Potter's pet owl? Hagrid, Herbert, or Hedwig? Harry Potter's pet owl was called Hedwig. Question 93. Which culture is associated with Bushido, which emerged between the 9th and 20th centuries? Australian Aborigine, Japanese or Siberian? The answer is Japanese. Question 94. Which other languages, except English, did Franklin Roosevelt speak quite well? German and French, Dutch and Welsh, or Latin and Spanish? The answer is German and French. Question 95. What is Turkey's primary currency unit? Turk, rupee, or lira? The answer is Lyra, or Lyra. Question 96. In A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, what was the name of Scrooge's clerk? Bob Cratchit, Ben Catchit, or Bill Hatchet? The answer is Bob Cratchit. 97. Which Mexican city's cathedral has stained glass that depicts a Star of David? Cancun, Guadalajara, or Mazatlan? The answer is Mazatlan. Question 98. Of these countries, which one has formally made the international system of units its primary system of measurement? Burma or Myanmar, New Zealand or USA? Burma, Myanmar, New Zealand, or USA? The answer is New Zealand. Question 99. What game was outlawed in Syracuse, New York, USA during World War I? Crabs, Pinnacle, or Whist? The answer is Pinnacle. Question 100. Who was the first to turn down a Best Actor Academy Award? Daniel Day-Lewis, George C. Scott, or Marlon Brando? The answer is George C. Scott. And here's a bonus question to finish things off. The Great Barrier Reef is situated where? 
Let us know the answer to that one in the comments. And whilst you're there, you can let us know where you ranked based on our Einstein rewards. Let us know between 0 and 100 working out and let us know which award you receive based on your score. Thanks a lot for playing this quiz and don't forget to subscribe to Quiz Class. If you hit that bell icon, you'll be notified on all of our upcoming quizzes. In the meantime, though, there are quizzes already uploaded that you can try right now. My name's Ellis and I've been your host today. Thanks again for joining us at Quiz Class and we'll see you next time.